Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. Let's take a look and see what's manifesting for you. Any messages or advice, everything you need to know what's showing up around you as well. So this could be someone on your mind, if any. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as well. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually goldy on all platforms. If you're interested in a personal reading done by myself, I'll leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. Okay. You're choosing to move on from something here. What is this that you're moving on from? Okay. Ooh, you're moving on from a situation where you weren't being given the same type of energy you were giving out. Okay, some of you are walking away from a situation where you felt like you were being breadcrumbed. And I feel like there's been an on and off situation, like a pull and pull situation here. Wheel of Fortune. There's been someone or something you've had like a cycle with. Back and forth situation and or karma, right? You're walking away from that. I'm hearing eight years to eight months. Like you have had some sort of cycle for the past eight years or eight months here that just wasn't changing and you're ready to release that you're really you're really ready to step into a different type of energy one that you can be proud of one that is going to be fulfilling for you Okay, you're walking towards a life that is going to be more than average, better than average, luxurious, one that is practical, one that is still nurturing to yourself, showing yourself self-care and taking care of yourself, focusing on your career, your business. Yeah. You're looking at a bigger picture now with with how you want your life to be and what you need to release. Some of you are entrepreneurs here and things have been really hard. And you're working through the hard. Moving through the hard. Okay, you have a lot of responsibilities. But I see you letting go of what's been burdening you okay where can you let go of something or ask for help somewhere or let go of a situation completely that's been overwhelming you or creating burnout here okay because you're not meant to live a life of burnout anymore you're choosing a different way of life a different way of be being and being very disciplined with a new and passionate beginning in your life. One that energizes you, one that inspires you, one that uh one that you can truly find fulfillment in, one that motivates you. Some of you are turning your back on this King of Cups over here. You're turning your back on someone who you had a lot of love for. But again, it could just be things just weren't working or it was not completely fulfilling for you. Even if nothing was wrong with this person, it wasn't fulfilling or there was a lack of love or just not enough love. With this, yeah, with this four of cups, this is showing me that you are removing yourself from whatever you feel disconnected from. You're saying no to the things that 
don't serve you. You're saying no to karmic situations that keep you in a cycle. Okay, someone's feeling rejected though. Someone's taking like a hit to their ego. Queen of Wands reverse, yeah. Could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm also seeing Gemini. Hmm. Confusion. Someone's, yeah. Someone's taking a big hit to their ego right now. And they're trying to figure out whether or not they should continue to put more efforts into this situation with you. But they've lost their confidence. Okay. The, yeah, it feels like there's delays coming from some from a, a manifestation around you. Something is being blocked from your life right now, and I think you just need to trust it. Some I'm seeing communication being blocked from someone, like somebody's not receiving messages. Maybe you're not receiving messages. There's blocked communication here for a reason. And it's because what, what is planned for you is so much better than what you had planned for yourself. Okay. So, yeah, ooh. That's crazy. The Seven of Swords. Someone has been blocked from your energy because they're a deceptive person. Okay? Because they try to deceive you or they try to lie to you. You're so protected. You're so protected. And someone's someone's actions or someone's like sneakiness or efforts towards deceiving you or taking something from you has been blocked completely you're you're untouched is you're untouchable right now mm. that's why you felt disconnected from what was being offered to you. You're saying no to someone's offer because you know what's in that cup is poison. Okay, but there is something you need to take action towards. What is it that... You're being get guided to take action towards something right now. What is this? What does... What does Cancer need to take action towards right now? A new beginning. The Fool... They want you to take, to take more risks. Of course, not reckless risks, but they want you to take action towards something new, a new beginning, freeing yourself, taking a chance. Taking a chance and finding that confidence within yourself to... To trust the, the universe or trust your God that when you take that leap, you're going to be caught. What's this, what's this new beginning here? The Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. Luck is on your side. There is a life-changing event about to happen here. But you need to take that risk. You need to go on a new adventure. Okay. It will make sense when it makes sense. The answers are going to come. The clarity will come. The reason why will come. I'm seeing the numbers 8, 1, 4. 88 is showing up here. So some of you could be seeing 888. Um. I'm seeing the letters W R C I U H. So those letters they could be in your name or someone else's name. 
But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know if you made it this far in the video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and your patience, and I hope you have a blessed rest of your day. Bye.